What's up, Chris? Hey, I'm making a snack. You want one? What is that? My sandwich supreme combo. It's a family recipe. Look at that again and tell me it doesn't look disgusting. No, it looks good to me. Chris, I'm about to change your life. You happen to be my special guest. Special guest for what? La Cocina de Ramon! I'm gonna teach you how to make some real snacks. Mexican snacks, to be exact. What? This is a real snack. Um, no. That's like cafeteria food. Anyway, we're gonna start off healthy. Fruit? That's your special Mexican snack? To an uncultured swine like you, it's an ordinary bowl of fruit. But for Mexicans, it's so much more than that. You need to add lemon or lime and tajin, which is a chili powder. And you get fruta con limon y chile, perfect for those warm summer days. Oh wow, it tastes like a tropical paradise in my mouth. It really intensifies the flavor of the fruit. Exactly. Next up, papitas con limon y chile. Is that like my dad with lemon and chili? What? No, that's weird. Papitas means potato chips. Oh. Anyway, this dish is similar to the fruit one, but you use chips instead. Just add a couple drops of hot sauce, and some lime, and you have another delicious snack. Mmm, it's a perfect balance between sour and spice. Time to get a little fancy. We're bringing out the big toys for this one. Pay attention. First you blend mango and ice. Then you coat a cup with chamoy sauce, a savory Mexican condiment. Add a hint of tajin. Then you pour the blended mango in and you top it off with more chamoy and tajin. Then boom, you have a mango mierda. It's like a mango smoothie, but with a kick. That looks good. It is good. Okay. It's time for the grand finale, the snack of all snacks. Humanity has evolved throughout the years for this snack alone. This snack defines civilization. Tosti Locos. That's just a normal chip bag. Because you're looking at it with your uncultured mind, Chris, you have to turn it to the side and cut it first. Wait, why are you opening it like that? Because to create Tosti Locos, you have to add cueritos, which is pig skin, Jicama, or Mexican turnip, cucumber, chamoy, hot sauce, lime juice, and you top it off with Japanese peanuts. All this to create heaven in a bag. Here, try it. Dang, Mexican snacks are delicious. All right, let me get some. I'm starving. No, 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 no. I I'm not sharing this. This is good. What? I made them. Let me get some. Did you just slap me? I'm so sorry. It just happened. Please don't hurt me. I'm actually impressed. I didn't know you had that in you. Do you still want some of the Toasty Locos? No. I'm okay. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go contemplate my life right now. What is up YouTube? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like and also let me know in the comments what your favorite Mexican snack is. And if you never had Mexican snacks, let me know in the comments which one looks the most delicious to you. Or just comment down below something because I read every single one of you guys' comments. And also, if you guys aren't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you click that subscribe button right now and click the bell button so you can find out exactly when we drop a new video because we have a new video on this channel every single Sunday here on The Crazy Gorilla. And with all that being said, click right here to check out last week's video or click right here if you aren't subscribed yet. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys next time. And if you're still watching, comment down below, Mexican Survival Guide is life.